Hi kids! I hope you're having a great week. Welcome back to another Catechism video. This week we're going to spend some time reminding ourselves of what we learned in last week's video. So before we go any further, let's have a look at last week's question and answer together, shall we? How and why did God create us? God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Okay, now I thought I might get my friend Stanley involved to help you learn this one. Does that sound like a good idea? Right, I'll just go and pay him a visit. So what I thought we could do yeah. was help the children learn last week's catechism question yeah. by me saying it and you repeating it. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. So I say it and you repeat it after me and then that'll help the children learn it, yeah? Yeah, but what was your question? Okay, so the question was, yeah. how and why did God create us? Right. Okay. What's the plan again? So the plan is we're going to help the children learn it yeah. by us repeating it, okay? Yeah. Are we helping the children? That's right. Oh, I like helping. Okay, so the question was, how and why did God create us? Oh, I don't know. No, you don't have to answer the question. Sorry. Okay, the question was, how and why did God create us? Oh, I keep forgetting. No, no, I know that. You don't need to answer it. You just need to repeat it. Try again. How and why did God create us? Oh, I'm really tired. I've got to go to sleep. Now you can have a sleep soon. How oh, soon? Okay, let's just do this for now and then you can have a sleep soon. The question was, how and why did God create us? Oh, I don't know. No, no, you don't need to answer the question. Sorry. You need to say it after me, okay? Okay. How and why did God create us? How and why did God create us? Okay. Do that again. How and why did God create us? How and why God created us? Good boy, good boy. How and why did God create us? How and why God created us? Okay, and the answer was... God created us male and female yes. in his own image Great. to glorify him. Hooray. Okay, let's yeah. break that down into some smaller sections, shall we? Yeah. So, how and why did God create us? Yeah, how and why did God create us? And the answer is, God created us. Yeah, God created us, yeah. Male and female. Male, female. In his own image. In his image. To glorify him. Glorify him. Can you remind me what this is all called again? Yes, it's called the catechism. Catechism. Cat? Catechism. Catechism? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure about cats. Oh, I wish it wasn't called that. Well, I know you might not want it to be called that. Oh, just, just give it a new name. No, we can't change the name just because you prefer it to be something different. Because I was thinking Doggerkism might be a much better name for it. No, no, we'll stick with the original name, OK? OK. How and why did God create us? How and why God created us? Well done. I go. God created us yeah. male and female. God created us male and female. I oh, like your hand. Oh, tasty, tasty hand. God created us male and female. Yeah. In his own image. In his own image. To glorify him. To glorify him. Okay, one more time. How and why did God create us? How and why did God create us? Oh, I'm tired. I know you're tired. Ooh, I know. Nearly, nearly done. Nearly done. How and why did God create us? How and why 
Oh my. Create us. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I'm not sure whether Stanley fully understood what was going on there. Never mind. Let's try a different way of learning it, shall we? What about if I put the words up on the screen so that we can read it together and then I'll gradually take away words one at a time and we'll see if we can still say it. Does that make sense? Right. Let's start with the question. Can you say it with me? How and why did God create us? Okay, well done. Right, now I'm going to take away one word and then we'll read it again. Okay, right, so let's say the whole thing together now that one word has gone missing. Ready? How and why did God create us? That's right, well done. Okay, right now let's take another word away. Okay, so let's see if we can say it again now that that word's gone missing. Ready? How and why did God create us? Well done. Right, let's take away another word. Okay, and let's say it together now. How and why did God create us? Brilliant. Okay, and we're going to get rid of another word. Okay, and let's say it all together now. How and why did God create us? That's right, well done. Okay, let's take another word away. All tricky now, we're down to just two words. Okay, ready? How and why did God create us? Okay, and let's remove one more word. Okay, just one word on the screen now. How and why did God create us? Okay, let's get rid of that final one. Right, no words. Can we remember what the question was? Say it together. How and why did God create us? Okay, that's right, there it is. Okay, and let's move on to the answer. So the answer is, God created us, male and female, in his own image, to glorify him. Okay, so let's start by taking one word away. Okay. So let's say it together from the start. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Okay, well done. Right, let's get rid of another word now. And we'll say it together. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Well done. Okay, let's remove another word. Right, let's say that together. God created us, male and female, in his own image to glorify him. Excellent, I hope you're getting this. Right, let's get rid of one more word. Okay, we'll say it together now. God created us, male and female, in his own image to glorify him. Brilliant. Okay, next word. Right, just a little one's gone. Let's say it together. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Okay, and we'll take another word away. Right, we'll say it together now. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Excellent. It's getting a bit more tricky now, isn't it? Right, let's take away another word. Okay, here we go. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Well done. Right. Let's say it again now that we've got rid of another word. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Well done, right, it's getting a bit more tricky now, isn't it? Let's take away another one. Down to just a few left. 
Okay, God created us, male and female, in his own image to glorify him. Excellent. Another word ready? Okay, just three remaining. God created us, male and female, in his own image to glorify him. Brilliant, okay, let's go down to just two words. See if we can do it ready all together. God created us, male and female, in his own image to glorify him. Excellent, right, let's see which word goes now. We're just gonna have one left. Okay, right, from the beginning, all together, God created us, male and female, in his own image, to glorify him. Okay, I think we can do it with no words at all now, ready? So all together, let's say it from the beginning, God created us, male and female, in his own image, to glorify him. Well done! I think you've definitely got the hang of this better than Stanley did. Just before we finish, to see how well you've remembered it, I've got a little challenge for you. I'll give you one minute, and what I'd like you to do is go and find someone else in your family and see if you can say the question and answer to them without looking at the words. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Okay, ready? Go. Did you manage it? Well done. And if you haven't quite learned it yet, then you can always just watch this video again. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.